Hello everyone. It is already bedtime. I don't know if you can tell it's dark outside. And I'm in Winnie's room. I'm borrowing it for the night. <laughs> She's with Ellis and I am borrowing it to make this video which is more than just a video. It is an experiment, let's say. I'm going to try to lay flat with my pleural effusion, which is fluid around my lung, and lung cancer. So we will see if I can do it. I'm trying to see if I can do it because I have a brain MRI due soon, very soon. <laughs> and I wanna see if I can do it without the deep sedation that I did last time. I'd like to like maybe alternate doing it that way not do it that way every time, but I guess we'll see. Ooh, ooh, random pain. Um, it's not a good sign. <laughs> um, we'll see how I do, I guess. Um, I also wanted to chat with you guys a little bit before I try and lay flat. I am so sad today. I am so down. I woke up this morning, the last two nights, I, okay, the reason I'm using Winnie's bed to lay flat is because I have the fancy incline bed for my sister and brother-in-law, but I rarely lay it all the way flat because I like to keep it, you know, once you find a good spot, it's hard to find that spot again. So I only bring it down to like change bedding and that's about it. So I didn't want to mess up my bed for this trial round. So that's why we're not using my bed. That's why we're using Winnie's. And then the last two nights, I've lowered the incline just a little bit to where I'm, I've slept lower than I have in a long time. And it was successful overall, which was getting me excited thinking maybe I can do this flat thing. But keep in mind, I'm still at an incline. I can't lay flat. So it might mean nothing. I don't know. But then the last two mornings when I woke up, I wake up from a really sharp pain in my left lung. And when I sit up or get up, my lung and the fluid, it feels like they do like this alternating position thing. Like maybe because I'm getting as flat as possible the last two nights, which it's not flat, but I'm getting lower than I have. Maybe the fluid and lung switch places somehow or like rotate how they are. I don't know if you've ever seen a pleural effusion. I've seen it through my x-rays and one of the times I saw it, it my lung was squished what to me looked like in half by how much fluid was pushing on it. So if that kind of gives you an idea of what it feels like to have a pleural effusion, sometimes it feels like you can't breathe. And when I lay flat, the fluid just really pushes on my lung to where I feel like I can't breathe. I feel like a person is sitting on my chest and I am just gasping for air and it's not there. It's not coming in. But <laughs> when I woke up the last two mornings, I get up and I have the pain and I feel my lung and the fluid do this shift. I don't know what it is. Someone in this field might have knowledge of it. I don't know if like the water comes up at night or the f lung comes up, but then they shift and rotate and it's like a plop. Like my lung plops back into place and it just does not feel good. Um, freaked me out the last two mornings. This morning it freaked me out so much because I knew that today I wanted to try laying flat because I see my team tomorrow and so I had this kind of pressure on myself to have to lay flat today. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't know I would cry. I would have brought a tissue box if I knew I was gonna cry. Um, but I had this like pressure on me this morning and when I feel the fluid, you know, sometimes I forget that I have it, but then sometimes it makes itself known and those times are hard. And so it's like a reminder of what I'm going through. 
the cancer, you know, has spread to the fluid and the lining of my lung and just that my lungs are struggling and that I'm struggling. Um, so I was panicking a bit and I was thinking, oh no, I can't do this flat thing. I'm just going to have to do the MRI the way I did last time. And I'm telling Kyle this and I went into a full-blown anxiety attack. really scary having abilities taken away having my abilities taken away from cancer and something as simple as laying flat I can't do and it was freaking me out like this can't be good Things must be going in the wrong direction if I'm in this, but it, I'm not in that state of mind now, and I, it's okay. I have a pleural effusion. It's okay. It's okay, you know, but this morning I was just freaking out, spiraling with negative thoughts that, that this is really bad, and I wish so badly I could just suck it up, lay flat for the 30 minutes for my brain MRI, and get out. It's just this pain I can't explain, and then... Not only does it hurt, but then I explained how it feels like someone's sitting on my chest, so I feel like I can't really breathe. So on top of already being claustrophobic from, of all, from all of the cancer trauma, I now feel like I can't breathe because there's fluid actually pushing on my lung. So it just makes the situation way worse. I just wish I could do it, and I was breaking down this morning because I can't, and Maybe I'll be able to. I'm going to try it right now, and maybe I'll be okay. I asked Kyle to come help me because I'm scared, and maybe he can film. I don't know how to film myself laying down. Maybe he'll get some artsy angles, <laughs> or he can ask me questions. I don't know. I don't know, and I'm going to see if I can lay flat for 30 minutes. I don't know if I'll film the whole thing, or maybe I'll fast forward parts of it. If I do film the whole thing, we'll see. Kyle saw me having my panic attack or anxiety attack this morning and he messaged my NP, my nurse practitioner, and he said, hey, I think Jenny needs to have her next brain MRI under sedation again or whatever they call it. And he said, okay, I'll get started on that. So I see them tomorrow maybe I'll be able to say, hey, never mind, let's stick with the regular one. I feel that I can do it this time and then save it for next time. That would make me really happy. And if not, then we will go with the plan. <sighs> Luckily, I am in very good hands at City of Hope. They always take care of me. <laughs> so I'm sure it'll all work out fine. I, I'm a hot mess, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so emotional today, and I'm so down. Kyle made a lovely dinner, which was nice. It was ravioli with sausage and broccoli. And <laughs> the ravioli make me laugh because you guys know Winnie is my picky eater. Ellis, he'll eat most anything. But Winnie, she's a picky one, and I'm not used to this. I don't know what to do. And I love ravioli. <laughs> and the two kinds we usually get, one is like a spinach ravioli, so it's green inside. And then the other one is butternut squash ravioli, so it's orange inside. And when I was eating it one day, I said, Winnie, would you like some? And I had both, and she said... <laughs> Yeah, I'll eat the cheese one. That cheese one looks good. And it's the butternut squash one. So I didn't tell her. 
it was butternut squash. I just said, you want the orange one? Okay, here you go. So I gave her that one and she loved it. And to this day, she'll eat them and she'll love them. And she talks about her cheese ravioli, <laughs> but it's butternut squash ravioli. And I don't lie about it. I just withhold information and I feel guilty because I love being honest with my kids about as much as possible. But if it'll help her enjoy this food, then so be it because she enjoys it. And I think if I told her what it was inside, she probably wouldn't eat it, but who knows? Maybe I'll, she'll figure it out. I know she'll figure it out <laughs> or Ellis will and he'll, he'll say it. I don't know. They're good ravioli. She's just closed minded. I'm going to go get it. Kyle and let's see if I can lay flat. I'm going to tell you guys as much as I can. It's hard to talk when I lay flat because of the pressure on my lung from the fluid, but I'm going to try to talk and tell you guys everything I'm feeling because this is interesting to me. <laughs> I think it is so bizarre that I can't lay flat and so maybe it's interesting to you guys too. So I'm going to tell you everything I'm feeling and why it's so hard. And first I'm going to go take some pain meds because that's what I do before scans is I take my pain medication to hopefully help. So I'm going to do that right now. Then I'll stop crying, go get Kyle and come back. See you soon. Wish me luck. <clears throat> I have Kyle with me. Do you want this down? Yeah, so you so can see So that I can me. see it? Yeah. Beautiful. I have Kyle with me. We're setting up. These are Winnie's posters she made with myself and my sister. And she hung them, that's why they have that nice angle. Um, can I say, I feel like I'm on the set of Dawson's Creek. Not because of your aesthetic, but that's the first show that came to mind when I'm holding the camera like this. Is it because I have 90s boy <laughs> 90s boy heartthrob hair. No, I just feel like I'm holding the camera <laughs> for a feel like this is, sitcom. Guys. 90s boy heartthrob. Do, 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 do. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never watched that show. Oh, you're missing out. You watched it? Dawson's Creek? Yes. Oh. Did they film like this or something? I don't know. Okay. Did anybody watch Dawson's Creek? Let us know if you watched Dawson's <laughs> Creek. I always wish I did because I think I would have had a crush on the main guy. Who? Dawson? The, the, yeah. Is that his name, Dawson? Yeah. Oh, you would like the other guy. I want, I think, just from the stuff I've seen. You always like the other dudes. I would like the brunette guy. Yeah. Is it Joshua Jackson? Yeah. I think I would have a crush Yeah, on him. he was cool. I was lurking on him and his wife on social media the other day, and they are a cute couple. You know when you can tell someone's truly in love? They seem like they're truly in love. Okay. Here we go. So I have these two. We're one minute in. I have these two pillows <sighs> under my knees because this is what they do for me at City of Hope. I had a wedge that I was trying to use because they use a small wedge, but this wedge was ginormous and not not doing what it was supposed to. So we're going to use this. The act of going to lay down is really hard for me. And if I'm brave and do this brain MRI like this, I will ask them to help me lay flat. They're always very helpful if you need help getting up or down. I'm too shy to ask to help for help to get down, but I think this time I would be brave enough. So, let's see. Should we have a timer? Do you have a phone? Uh, I didn't bring mine. I'll set a timer, I guess. For what? Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Because that's about the average length of an MRI. So take a deep breath. And if you need me to get you out of the position at any time, just give me your hand. I'll wait to hit start till I lay down. Okay. Okay. So we're going to attempt to lay flat like an MRI. The worst is when <laughs> I have to lay flat and then I'm not aimed to my pillow correctly. Oh. And then I have to like redo it and redo it. That's hard, but okay. As you guys know, Jenny does not lay flat unless she's doing a CT or an MRI. Right. So this is a little bit, I know you probably talked about it, but it's nerve wracking, scary. But we're here. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay, my timer's going. My first feelings 
or that it's hard to breathe. And it hurts. But the hardest part is the struggle to breathe. I would like to put my arms up to maybe give my lungs some more space, but I can't do that in a brain MRI. I keep my hands here with a bubble that I can push if I need help. Right now my pain is right here for anyone interested. Can hmm. you see it, honey? It's kind of weird. Is that normal? This is, I don't know. I don't know either. Okay. It, so it's obviously on the left side where your cancer is yeah, it's and the here, fluid. And it's traveling. Typically by the end, my whole arm, all of this will hurt. Okay. Right now it's just this. So why don't you take about a, I'll, I'll look at the timer. Why don't you take about a minute or two and just try not to say anything. Just focus on your breathing. When I try to take a deep breath, it hurts to where it's hard to take deep breaths. And this left lung feels disabled. I can feel my right lung. I don't know if it's visible to you. Mm -mm. My right lung feels like it's doing its job. Mm. And this one feels like a lesser version. I'll try to take some deep breaths and you can look at my chest. Ooh, and it hurts. Ooh. It hurts really bad. It's okay. Whenever you're ready, we could just... I wish I could just cry through the pain. But it hurts to cry. We, we don't want you to suffer. If it gets too much, we just call it a night. It's getting worse. Okay. It's going up to my shoulder. Have you been able to get that feeling like you've caught your breath or no? You know that? It never feels like I've uh -huh, fully caught. caught my breath when I'm laying flat. Laying flat. Yeah, it's okay. It's a scary feeling. But I'm okay. I mean, I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. You really are. You just wonder how much you're going to pay for it, you know? I don't care about the after. I've never cared about the after. It does hurt me after, Kyle knows. I get really bad nerve pain after laying flat. Mm-hmm. But, it's just getting through it, that's, that's so hard. Mm -hmm. This whole left side feels tighter than my right side. My right side feels loose and happy and free, mm. and my left side feels like it's an injured creature. I mean, good for your right side though, right? What would you say a scale one to ten your pain right now? Um higher than five or lower than five? Give me a second. I'm terrible with pain scales. Is anyone else terrible with pain scales? Because I sure am. <laughs> I always think, oh well geez, if uh you know I would say It's at a, about a five. Okay. But for every breath, constant, you know? Mm hmm. But five's doable. Mm hmm. Certainly is. I'm seeing that I can breathe, even though it feels like shallow breaths. It almost feels. Like it wants to be raspy, the breathing. You're about seven minutes in. I guess it's not a real trial unless you have the MRI sounds. 
And the tube around me. Mm-hmm. And the cage around my head. Mm-hmm. And I can't do this. Wipe my tears. I can't move at all during that. So it's like, if I could move, I'd probably do things like this, you know, to get through the pain, massage. But I can't move. So I just have to sit through it. left side hurts so bad. Could you describe the pain to people? Is it a tingly? Is it a, a nerve? Is it a... It's not a nerve. Sharp stabbing? Up here could be nerve. It's sharp up here. Um, a radiating pain. So sharp and then it radiates out. Down here. It's sharp. N not a nerve pain. It's just when I inhale, it feels like when someone pokes a wound, hmm. it feels like that when I inhale mm -hmm. down here. It feels just like this side has been through a car accident or something, and it's really sore and hurts. And this side feels like it's fine and it has not been through a car accident. I obviously wouldn't wear a hoodie to a brain MRI. I'd probably get in the way. I was just wearing this because it's cozy. This is my pretty sweater that my sister and I designed together with the little shirt company. And she had people buy these to show their support for me so I didn't feel alone. And we received the proceeds and that went towards my medical care, etc. It was really fun doing that with my sister. In this family, nobody fights alone. Team Jenny. Strong like Kimmy. You want to explain that? Yeah, so that's after her Auntie Kimmy, um, who passed away from cancer when she was 40 and she's Jenny's mom's twin and she was like Jenny's second mom they were really really close and their families did everything together her cousins are like sisters mm -hmm. and Kimmy was an amazing human being and so we wanted to honor her too because we think of her throughout this journey often and I believe she helps you often while you're going through this. I think so. Yeah. <clears throat> and the ribbon. Oh yeah, I didn't even see it. It says, uh, non-smoking lung cancer awareness. Because I feel like not enough people know about non-smoking lung cancer. Yeah. That you can get it even if you didn't smoke. People have asked why it's important for us to share that, and we kind of want to be advocates for the fact that lung cancer can strike anybody, whether you smoke or don't smoke. Doesn't make healthy it or not healthy. doesn't make it any easier. We've known people who have smoked and been diagnosed. Um, it doesn't make it like that's okay and they deserve it. No, no, no. This no. is just pure. I don't want anyone to have lung cancer. Yeah, it's just pure awareness. It's just awareness so people know. Exactly. Because I didn't know. I didn't know. Like, I had an idea, I guess. Never really thought about it, but I thought, wait, I didn't smoke. <laughs> yeah. It's just important to share that. So, I think instead of trying to do the deep breaths, which hurt, Mm -hmm. I need to focus on just embracing the little shallow breaths mm -hmm. because they're less painful. Yeah. It hurts here, but they're less painful. That's good. Have you gone up from a five? No. Okay. 
one of the things in the tube. You're sitting there thinking like, I can do it, I can do it. Only blank more minutes. But you don't know how many more. You know? Mm. You have no idea. It's kind of hard when you don't have a good countdown. I've had a PET scan where I could see the timer. Uh-huh. And it was a blessing and a curse. Part of me was like, oh, crap, I still have that much time. But then other parts of me focused on watching the seconds count down. Mm -hmm. And it helped me get through. Yay, another minute down. Mm -hmm. And then, yay, another minute. PET scans are a little easier, even though they inject that radioactive stuff. MRI is the hardest, right, for you? My funniest PET scan, it set on it. I was on my period during it, so I had a tampon in, and I asked if that was okay. They said yes, and the notes of my PET scan said, what did it say, honey? Tampon present. Tampon present. And I just had to crack up that we're so terrified reading where all the cancer is in my body and it says tap on present mm -hmm. i loved it that was my favorite pet scan <laughs> so you're exactly halfway maybe i can do it what do you think i mean it it would appear that you could mm -hmm. If you wanted to, I just worry that you're, you know, gonna pay for it. I know you say you don't care about the pay for it. But I don't care about the after. It's yeah. just getting through it. It would appear that you could. I know it's gonna be a little more tense when you're there. Yeah, more anxiety. You're not gonna be at home. The claustrophobia. But yeah. The tube. But I mean, if we're talking just on a pain scale and not the brain part, the. Right. It would appear that so far you can do it. You look like Sleeping Beauty. Did you wear hoodies? Uh, well, maybe. <laughs> You'll need oh, a... It hurts so much up here. Uh -huh. It's like radiating off of the lung, wanting to spread. Ever since the fluid, I never lay flat for anything. Mm -mm. Ever. Nope. Before I could lay flat here and there, like playing with the kids or something, but now it's never. It's nothing like feeling like someone's sitting on your chest, you know? No fun. Is it a little less intense of when your pleural fusion was really bad? Yes. That's good. When I had more fluid. That was the worst. It was horrible. Yeah, so that's a good sign. I mean, what if you fell asleep? Would you want me to leave you or wake you? Not that you would, but... I don't think I... Could. Can fall asleep in this pain. Yeah. Sorry, the camera ran out of room, so we are picking up after some time. We're still laying flat. And I think we have another, I would be guessing, so I won't say, but I think under 10. Don't you have that? <clears throat> it's next to you. What do we got? Aha! Uh -huh. My entire left side, torso, mm -hmm. is hurting now. On my back, my ribs, my side. Mm -hmm. My shoulder, it's hurting very bad. I'd say like a seven at this point. Okay. Getting harder to breathe because of the pain. Mm -hmm. Do you think if, not that you could in the MRI, but do you think if you were just doing this at home and you turned over to your your right side, 
Would it relieve any pain? No idea. Maybe you do that when this is over. I'm curious. Why? Because some people say laying on their side helps. My left side. Laying on it is, ex is excruciating. No, I mean you're right. I understand. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'd like to try to get up the way they're going to have me. Okay. I can try out of curiosity for you. It's hurting so bad. You can call at any time. You don't have I to know. get through it. That hurts so bad. Mm. I'm at home. If I were there, I'd not make these sounds. You want to call it? Not much time. Uh, it looks like you accidentally paused it when you showed me. Mm -hmm. So, I would guess another two minutes. Wow. Is that video? Oh yeah, four, so two minutes. Because it was six. I don't know if I can do it. Okay. I don't think I can. Alright, let me pull you up like they do, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, ready? Yep. Go really slow. Go. Back here? Sure. Did great. That hurts, baby. In what? I made it so far. Just to be a couple minutes short. Mm -hmm. My thoughts are maybe I could have done it if I just made it. Two more minutes, you know? For what purpose? But it hurts so bad. Yeah. I just don't know how they're gonna do this for the rest of my cancer journey. If I need brain MRIs every two months. Well, the goal is that it won't be every two months forever. You know? It would lessen if you didn't have any spot show. You would have had less. I know, but I have cancer back in my brain. I know. Oh. Oh. But I think we got our answer. But I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Sad. Now we need to get sedated. If they're able to keep doing it, then yes, that's the answer. If for some reason they're not allowed to keep doing it, I don't know what we do. I would say we ask about taking a mild sedative. There's probably something else. Yeah. We'll figure it out, like we always do. Thanks for helping me. Yeah. You're disappointed in me. Not at all. I didn't want you to do it in the first place. I know. What's it pointed at my floor? <laughs> um, Kyle, you want to check? Kyle said he didn't want me to do this test at all, but here I am trying it. Yeah, it's pointed at your legs. This is why, this is why I'm the YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. I did it, kind of. Not really. <laughs> I don't know. I was flat for what, probably 28 minutes? Mm -hmm. 
So that's pretty good. Pretty amazing. I think if for some reason they say no way possible for the sedated way, I think I could get through those last two minutes. I just might need like a stress ball in my hand to squeeze through or something in my mouth to chew on. Like not chew, but like bite down on. I don't know. You know what I mean? Keep in mind we're the only people to come up with this concept that they're gonna say no more. Yeah, we've we've come up with this worry that they'll say, Oh, you can't do it that often or only sometimes. They've was. never said anything like that. Anyway. This is what happened. This is what happened when I was laying flat. What'd you guys think? Was it interesting? Is it <laughs> What? Is it pathetic? Pathetic. Get out of here. No such thing. You did a great job. I just wish I could do it. You are brave enough just to try. I wish it didn't cause so much pain. I feel like a wuss. <laughs> just the trying was good enough. I tried. I really tried. Even if you bailed after 30 seconds, we'd all be proud of you. You did a great job. Thank you. You're the only one holding a standard on you, you know? I'm hard on myself. I've always been. You're hard on yourself as well. Mm -hmm. And I know you would be too. You did great. You made me proud. All right. Well, maybe we'll stick with the plan of my nurse practitioner because he knows best. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see what he says. If he tells me, that I need to do it the standard way, then I will make it work. At least I saw that I could make it as far as I did. Mm -hmm. So I know I can make it work if I have to. But it's just a bummer. Yeah. I was so close. <laughs> it just, the pain just starts to take over on my entire left torso and it hurts to even do the shallow breathing. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go blow my nose and edit and upload because I have to go get ready for an early morning. Yeah, we have a long day to plan for, so thanks for watching. I love you guys and I appreciate you all. Uh, please still love me. <laughs> Bye!